Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to put on your nail wraps. It's fairly easy. First of all, you want to prepare your nail for the application by cleaning it with some alcohol to take off any oils or any debris. And then you want to push back your cuticles because the nail wraps do not stick to skin. So you do not want to have any sort of cuticles there. Then you want to take your wraps. Using the clear backing, you want to size your nail to the wrap. And one of the rules are, since it doesn't stick to skin, you do not want your wrap to be too wide. So going a little bit shorter is advisable. Cut the wrap in half. And when you have that half, I use tweezers, but you can use the side of the cuticle pusher that you're going to be using. You want to take it off the clear back. And then you want to size it to your wrap. I am use the cold method, so I don't heat it first. It's easier for me to put it on cold. So I can move it around if I need to center it. And then after I've got it where I want it to be, I heat it up. Now you can use your hair dryer or our mini heater. And after it's heated up, you want to take it from the middle and press down. And I go from side to side to side to side. And then you want to yank on the ends to remove any sort of bubbles. I normally heat it again. Press some more. Pull it. And then any excess I cut off. And I tend to save any of the excess for my toenails or anything like that. After you've gotten the excess cut off, I normally trim my nails at that time. To take the clean the edges off. And then I add some more heat. Using the rubber cuticle pusher, you want to smooth down the sides. Really get in there to get that nice seal. Because once it's heated up, you can really stretch and pull it. Heat it up again just for... A good measure smooth it on again and then you're pretty much done I recommend not filing it right away because you may get fraying at the ends of your nails so you don't want to fray it you want to have your nails cool down a bit and then you can file it so after it's cooled down I would say maybe give it about a I don't know an hour or so and then when you file you want to file going in an, about a 90 to 90 to 45 degree angle and then you don't want to over file it you just want to file any of the excess off I don't have any excesses because I clipped it off I tend to like the clipping better but after you're that's pretty much it and then you're done if you have any questions email me call me I'll be happy to help